Yo guys, you are back in After Effects and this is the effect that I made. I saw this effect in this music video. That effect was firstly done by VFX Victor. His Insta profile will be linked down below so you can check it out him. So enough of intro, let's just jump into another comp and show you the footage. This is the footage I'm gonna use to add the 3D clock with the laser and all the stuff. So to start off, right click, go to new and create a solid layer like this then you can name it like element after you create your solar layer add element 3d into it and head over to scene setup and it will open this new panel right here then go over to import and in the description you'll find this really dope glock ovg for free so you can download that and follow up with the tutorial now if i open this and you can see it is really small so go over to here and just hit normalize size now you can see our glock is imported and if i zoom into here you can see there's a laser beam so in group folder in customizable glock you can open it and you can see different materials in here and go over to laser and go over to preset go over to physical and you can find one called red paint just drag and drop it into the laser to make it red and select that go over to diffuse then start increasing the diffuse so it is really bright and you can also go over to emanation and set it to red and increase that too now you can see we have this really bright laser coming out out of the glock now you can close the element then you can see our glock in the scene go over to group one go over to particle look and just scale it up like that and you can go over to particle rotation and i will rotate it on y axis like this you can also go over to particle replicator and play with the position and you can also play with the z axis make sure the laser is hitting the artist face i guess this looks fine and go over to custom texture map and in layer one changes to footage and go over to synth setup again and in element 3d go over to environment and go over to custom layer one select that and hit ok so our environment is applied in and it matches our scene in my footage there is a slow mo right here so at this point i'm gonna make the block come in from the bottom so hit the stopwatch in the position x and y in particle replicator and you can also animate the particle rotation y and you can also play with the z and selecting your timeline in solid layer hit you to bring up all of your keyframes go over to first frame like about here and i'm gonna move it side and make it go down and you can also rotate it like this and you just want to push it out of frame so our animation now looks like this to make it more smoother select all your keyframe hit f9 in the keyboard to easy is those go over to graph now and select the one end of the graph and just drag it in like that and that's how we get this smooth animation of the glock and to match my camera angle i'm gonna go over to last frame then play with the rotation and in position jet i'm gonna also animate that hit you to bring up the keyframe and put it on the middle then start increasing the jet axis because my camera is zooming in so i have to match that movement this completely depends on your footage so don't copy my settings so now i think my animation looks pretty good then one thing you can also do is close up your group close up your custom layer and go over to render settings go over to motion blur and you can turn it on and after that you can see some motion blur on the glove and in the description again you'll find this laser image right here so i'm gonna drag it into after effects and drag it into my timeline and scale it down to fit my comp and toggle switches and mode and i'm gonna change the blending mode to screen so now guys what we're gonna do is make this laser image right here to follow the laser of this clock right here so to do that we have to scale it down so i put it the laser where my glock layer is then you can add like a tritone into this and in the mid tones make it like red so it turns the color into red into highlights you can also put it red now comes the boring part you have to animate it so it follows the laser every single time so i'm gonna pull up my position my scale and my rotation and you can start your tracking from here
After you done the tracking properly, your image laser should follow the block laser. Then hit T2 bring up the opacity at first, set it at 0 and go 2 frame forward, set it at 100 and go 2 frame forward again, set it to 0 and set it to 100 again. So it creates like a flicker effect and put the image below your element layer so now comes the fun part adding the glow so to add the glow i'm gonna use call optical glow it is a plugin from red giant vfx suite then in the settings i'm gonna go to highlight only and start bringing up that and you wanna stop it right away where the laser cuts off then you can bring up the glow size then after that go over to alpha channel and just hit extend it all more and in your laser image you can add like a rough edges then like a optical glow in this too so it pops in like that so after doing that our animation are pretty much done we're gonna add some more effect to make it all blend together so to start off at first in a background layer add like a levels you can hit the stoppers in the levels from the middle of your timeline and you can start increasing the input black so the background gets dark then go over to the last keyframe again and add like a hue and saturation animate the hue and saturation and go over to last keyframe of the levels then you can decrease the saturation too like over minus 60 or so and after that in the description you will also find this particle overlay so drag it into your comb I'm gonna lower down the size to fit to my comb then add like a tritone in it and make the mid tones to red and set the blending mode to screen so over the middle I'm gonna animate the value to zero and go few frame forward and then just increase it then you can add an adjustment layer and right where my lasers comes in i'm gonna make a quick shake to do that i'm gonna add a as shake in here right in the middle hit the stopwatch in the amplitude go few frame forward i set it to zero and go few frame backward and set it to zero then go over to frequency and set it to 100 and turn on the motion blur tool and select all of your keyframes hit f9 to easy ease go over to graph and make a graph like this then add a motion tile and then set it to 200 by 200 and hit mirror edges put it to above your sick then you will have this dope sick effect then i also want to add a sapphire flicker and right where my six hits in the stopwatch in the amplitude make it to zero and go over few frames and you can increase the value of the flicker i guess i'm gonna increase the amplitude of the sick more yeah that looks really sick and then lastly you can make another adjustment layer add like a glint sapphire glint into this lower down the brightness of the glint and in size detail and in size detail in x y make it to zero and all those to zero just lift the size x to one and also lower down size green and blue after that our effect is done so my final effect looks like this so if you like the video hit the like button and and you can also subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this and also follow me in instagram i constantly drop some really cool music video that i edit on there and let me know if you have any questions in the comments so see you in the next video bye